Over the next few minutes, we'll describe what a fiscal year end is and how to process it in Sage 50. A new fiscal year must be started in order to process transactions in that fiscal year. For example, if your current fiscal year ends on June 30th, 2020, you will need to start a new fiscal year before creating transactions on or after July 1st, 2020. Please note that under certain conditions, you can post transactions to a future fiscal year. Starting a new fiscal year will have the following consequences. New fiscal year dates are set, and revenue and expense account balances are set to zero. When you start a new fiscal year, the new fiscal year start and end dates are automatically defined. For example, if your year ends on June 30th, 2020, and you start a new fiscal year, then the year ending on June 30th, 2020 becomes the previous fiscal year, and the current fiscal year dates are automatically set to July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2021. When you start a new fiscal year, Sage 50 automatically closes your revenue and expense accounts, moves their balances, or net profit or loss, into the retained earnings account, and sets their balances to zero. To illustrate this process, let's consider this simplified sample trial balance at the end of a fiscal year. When starting a new fiscal year, the balances of the asset and liability accounts are carried over into the new year. However, the balances of the revenue and expense accounts are moved to the retained earnings. The new balance of the retained earnings in the fiscal year is calculated using this formula. Previous retained earnings balance plus total revenue balance minus total expense balance. This process is entirely automated and happens when you start a new fiscal year. Sage 50 includes a built-in checklist for fiscal year end procedures. Select the Business Assistant menu and click Checklists to access the checklists available in Sage 50. Double-click on Fiscal Year End Procedures to open the list. Before starting a new fiscal year, we recommend going through the checklist carefully as some of the items in the checklist can no longer be performed after you start the year. Similar to the Calendar Year End Checklist, you can print this list by clicking File, and then print. You can mark each item on the list as complete by clicking in the Done column. Depending on your business requirements, you may not need to complete every item on the list. You may also have specific requirements to add to the list. All checklists available in Sage 50 can be customized. From the Fiscal Year and Procedures window, click any of the existing items to modify them or remove them. Click in any empty row to add an item to the checklist. After modifying the list, click Save. We will now start a new fiscal year. To start a new fiscal year, click Maintenance and select Start New Year. If your fiscal year does not coincide with the calendar year, this window appears. We'll select Fiscal Year and click OK. When prompted to make a backup, we strongly recommend clicking Yes and OK to go through the process of creating a backup. We'll enter the backup information and click OK. After starting the new year, this message appears. The new fiscal year is now created. Depending on your maintenance settings, the program may ask you if you want to clear data. Congratulations! You now know how to start a new fiscal year. To continue your education and become more proficient with Sage 50, SageU.com has an extensive library of learning topics. The Level 3 Power User Training course covers all topics related to year-end in Sage 50 and much more. Be sure to bookmark sagecity.com slash year-end to access more free resources for a peaceful year-end.